What's going on guys? Crust is Crypto here back with a video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. We're currently sitting at 708. I'll be doing a live stream and giveaway at my 1,000 subscriber mark. So please support the channel, guys. I'm just going to make better, better content for you all. And with that said, I uh, hope everybody is having a great Monday. Uh, let's get into this video here. As you can see, the market is... Uh, not really doing much right now. Bitcoin sitting at thirty nine thousand uh, dollars. Nothing too crazy. Everything is down in the sig uh, single digits. Uh, Bitcoin had retraced from its uh, you know its high of around forty four thousand uh, dollars. Didn't go past uh, that point. But we just have to see exactly what's going to happen. I mean the market is so uncertain right now, guys. In the short to midterm, I'm not sure where Bitcoin is going to be continuing to go. Is going to go up and break past its. Um, you know, kind of mental psychological barriers of around 40,000, 45,000, or we're going to see retracement back down to the low 30,000s. We're just going to have to wait and see, guys. This week is going to be very interesting for us to sit on the sidelines and kind of see exactly where the market is going. Ethereum still sitting at $25,600, um, 7%, uh, seven day, you know, moving percent was 10%, guys. So, I mean, it's everything is, you know, uh, has not decreased by much. I mean, as you can see, the seven day percentage increases. A lot of these are in the 20%. So we're just gonna have to see again what's gonna happen. Elrond's sitting at around $89, uh, 90 bucks pretty much. And as you can see here, it's been in this consolidation kind of going up and downs, up and downs after it went all the way up to around 100 bucks. We're just gonna have to see exactly where Elrond's gonna go. Um, it's kind of following the rest of the market but in my opinion i'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice but it's sitting at a cool 1.7 billion dollar market cap i see nothing but buying opportunities and we're going to be talking about that right now why that is the case so let's get into that uh, last week in elrond so we're going to talk about this first uh one year of mainnet maintenance have been up for one year already guys can you believe that mission 10 begins elrond swap bridge update rust framework version 0.8 uh, 18.0 is live and the weekly Elrond tech. So let's get into this. So last week in Elrond, they had new staking providers uh, added, United Staking and Galadriel. You got the leading blockchain firm for Bull joins Elrond. You also have the Jigme streams with Stream Particles and Myr. So uh, make sure you guys check that out if you have not done so already. Some of the milestones achieved 689,000 mainnet wallet guys with 6.8 million transactions with over 11.77 million eagle stake. That's huge numbers. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's how much people has uh, has totally staked their coins. The staked statistics here is 1.72 million e-gold stakes. So that's a lot of e-gold. A lot of money guys is being staked right now, which is 59,000 people. So, um, I might be getting these numbers wrong. Uh, I don't know the difference between 11.77 million staked and the 59,000 people plus. Uh, I'm not sure if, you know, that's actually how much e-gold staked because it says 1.72 million staked. So, I'm not sure, guys. Maybe it's just the total amount that has been staked in the history of the mainnet. I think that's what it is. Um, so, let's continue with um, what we have here. Media mentions was investing.com, Benzinga, and the Daily Hoddle. So it was mentioned in a couple articles and a couple um, influencers here. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for last week. That's, you know, a big milestone for Elrond to hit that one year on the mainnet. Everything's running smooth. Everything is running great. Knock on wood. And lastly, let's conclude with kind of the main meat of Elrond right now. Why do I think, you know, Elrond is going to be up there? with the rest of the top 10 coins. So Wesley Cress, MBA, MSOM. Be sure to check this individual out. He is a CEO breakthrough performance slash rehab ex-banking professor with 17 plus years of financial markets. He is highly confident in Eagle. Change wealth opportunity 97%, guys. So make sure you follow him, check him out. Uh, I am not don't know the guy, but I do like his post and what he has to say. So we're gonna talk about that here on my channel. So these are his coins, E-Gold, Cell, Ethereum, Matic, AVEX, Binance, Smart Chain, and Soul. So as you can see here, Elrond. This is kind of the main centerpiece of what he's talking about here in this tweet. Uh, Elrond DeFi 2.0, right? So why Elrond Network is positioned to be the backbone for DeFi 2.0 and will it lift all tides? Many have claimed they would do this. Problems or limitations with all proposed or current implemented solutions. So let's get into this. Uh, 
It's always been evident the limitations of Ethereum in its original form. It can't scale, so when volume, i.e. traffic, substantially increases, it becomes unusable for small users due to high fees promoting inequitable opportunity, which is against the ethos of DeFi and blockchain, limiting inclusiveness. Ethereum also screeched to a halt due to technological uh, limitations, making it unusable at times, like CryptoKitties. The second concept of interoperability deals with the idea that you would need to constantly bridge from one scaling solution back to Ethereum, the main chain, and to the other scaling solutions. Not only is this extremely costly, but going through the Ethereum, but it, um, but it's super complex and requires too many steps. These are all partial band-aid issues to a first principle design flaw. But wait, what about Ethereum 2.0 and sharding? Isn't that what makes eGold so great? You say, we'll see the devils in the details. Due to Ethereum's first principle limitation, they can only reactively integrate sharding. So they can only implement 64 shards, which can only process only 50 transa uh, transactions per second, guys, as they're only implementing one type of sharding, thus the main chain. So will we max 3,200 transactions per second in stark contrast with eGold with the superior first principle design? Scalability is ensured with that number 4.2 million uh, plus maximum shards all available to process 5,000 transactions per second essentially inf infinitely scalable and due to implementing all three sharding techniques network transaction and state also due to not having the first principle design limitations of ethereum Erwan eGold will have no issues with composability or interoperability as scaling is intrinsic in its first principle design. All of this is important, guys, to understand the differences between Ethereum, which is on the top three as what we just saw here, right? Sitting at 25, I'm sorry, the, yeah, top three, sitting at number two at $25, $2,600, and the difference with eGold and why it's changing the game. So, what about Binance Smart Chain? Doesn't it have low fees? Why would anyone be incentivized to leave? Well, for starters, there is decentralization. We all know that there are only 21 nodes for Binance Smart Chain. Beyond this is the complexity is very high. With Elrond Network, uh, you get a beautiful, simple uh, user interface and that anyone can use, and this invites people in. So, that difference, right, is super powerful. You have such an intuitive, clean interface with the Meyer app, and you're able to just seamlessly navigate through its, uh, you know, its options and selections to stake. Uh, it's a very well fleshed out application, and it runs well with your coins. Uh, I have no worry about my ego. I feel like it's such a safe wallet for me to store my coins in, guys. And you can link it to the Meyer exchange uh, right now, and you can see how much uh, MEX that you are eligible to claim. So. Feature had arrived. Well, the feature is here and it's called the Myra Exchange. The first time with all these qualities. So he also explains what the MEX exchange is. And I've broken it down in some of my videos. If you want to check this specific portion out, uh, be sure to go on his Twitter and just check this post out. So he goes on to say, right, that I keep hearing about Soul, Solana and its Serum Dex doesn't have, uh, it have all those qualities and has already launched but essentially done okay, but not great. So with Sol, right, the difference with Solana um, is that it doesn't have a first-class UI like the Meyer app, right? In which anyone can use to promote inclusiveness, allowing the most seamless staking of eGold ever seen in the crypto space. The results are in and almost 83,000 individual users are staking that is unreal. But most importantly, launching the Meyer app first built the end users and community which is the second strongest in the entire crypto space to support the launch of the Mara exchange. This can't be overstated in terms of its importance to the success of the Mara exchange. Ethereum, it becomes a first principle design limitation that can't be connected in retrospect. The key concept or principle is an adaptivity, which Benjamin Minku has discuss, uh, discussed. What this entails is dynamically adjusting to the needs of the network demand by adding another shard to the meta chain. Def infinitely scaling with demand without running into composability or interoperability issues within the scaling solutions being used. This is why Elrond Eagle would be the backbone to the entire crypto space. 
Elrond has said and demonstrated the execution that we want to allow everyone to participate, so we'll work day and night to solve the complex sharding, but not just one, but all three aspects of sharding, which is the network, transaction, and state, the most difficult of all. This just not just theorizing, but executing on the ethos of blockchain via demonstrable execution. This allowed for a minimal hardware requirement similar to Ethereum, but infinite scalability, essentially. Okay, this is a lot of information for you guys. I'm sure 50% of people who are tuning in probably left, but this is important information, guys, that you need to understand and listen to. So execution is key, and it must be done in the correct steps to ensure and potentiate uh, success. Finally, and most importantly, eGold and the Elrond network is the most interoperable blockchain in the entire crypto space. They will be building bridges to allow global liquidity to flow uh, seamlessly through the low-cost, low-latency, high-throughput, state-of-the-art network for everyone to leverage. All of these aspects include the, lay, uh, the ones laid out in my 44-page uh, investment thesis as to why Elrond will not be only the leader of the smart contract blockchain space, but the backbone to DeFi 2.0. The future is here. So this is a very, very well fleshed out and excellent post by Wesley Cress. Um, and on top of that, he also has his uh, uh, post talking about the Mark Exchange specifically. And he also has uh, done a 44 page research and investment thesis on why Elrond is the greatest out there. He is either a dying fanboy or he is somebody who knows what he's talking about when it comes to cryptocurrency. And that's, my, in my opinion, why Elrond is such a valued coin, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, what, he, uh, you know, what your thoughts are and what he has to say. Do you think that these are valid statements? Do you know the difference between Ethereum and Elrond and why Elrond is going to be absolutely crushing Ethereum? I want to uh, hear from you guys exactly why. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys think. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, again, support the channel. Subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in my next video on Wednesday.